What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Ace back with another gameplay video. So today guys, today's a very, very special day, man. As you guys can see on screen, I'm about to jump into that Tales of Arise demo version, baby. Just dropped today, August 18th for everyone on PlayStation 5 and the Xbox Series X. I am playing on the PS5, of course. Now, if you know me, and you know me very, very well. I am a big fan of the Tales series. So this is the latest game in the Tales series, Tales of Arise, which is um, soon to be released on September 10th. Cannot wait. Have the game pre-ordered and paid for fully already. Your boy's ready, man. So I'm really excited. Bandai Namco um, released a, you know demo for the game and and i'm super excited you know so if you guys are new to the channel um please consider subscribing smash that like button for your boy turn that bell on for post notifications so you guys are aware when i do upload gameplay videos so basically i'm not gonna say anything else okay i'm just gonna go ahead jump right into this demo all right so your typical you know standard terms of agreement we're gonna accept we don't got time for any of this we're super excited to play the game um to play the demo and to just jump right into it so we're just gonna accept all the way through all right so this demo is from a work in progress version of the game contents of it are subject to change in the final retail release of course no demo is ever you know fully completed um like the full version of the game so um you get the start demo option here, PlayStation Store, voice selection, license, you know, and we're just gonna go straight into the start demo um, option here. Now, I'm not gonna give you guys a full breakdown of my history of the Tales series. I'm gonna actually wait until September 10th when the game is released worldwide here in the West, and I will definitely stream the game, um, the entire series. I'm gonna give you guys my history of, you know, playing through the Tales series and give you guys you know just a view of some of my favorite tales of games and i cannot wait for that day to come but <laughs> let me go ahead and shut up right now and jump right into the demo all right so you got your you know menu here normal blah 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 we don't care because yo bro i've been i've been so hyped to play this game i am so hyped to play this game this tales of arise is definitely my game of the year so let's save that um i i i know that it probably won't win game of the year but in my heart tales of arise is game of the year for 2021 okay um i hope it wins i really do um if not i hope kenna you know um bridge of spirits wins instead but with that being said um today's about tales of arise so let's go let's jump into it so select the character you wish to control in the demo when you clear the demo you can see a preview video for the character you were controlling when clearing it Note, the controlling character can be switched during gameplay, however, the bonus movie that plays after clearing the demo will remain based on whichever character you first selected on this screen. So guys, without further ado, who do you think I should play with, man? We got Alfin, Shion, we got Rinwell, we got Law, who is a physical fighting character, by the way. If you guys played Exilia or Exilia 2, he resembles uh, Jude Mathis, who was the martial artist hand-to-hand -hand combat character in Exilia and Exilia two so we got law here i like the name law like law from tekken right so we got kisara there was quite a few pictures of kisara online on twitter to be exact she has a huge bum but we're not gonna get into that moving on we got last but not least dohalim did i say that right dohalim i think i did an all-around fighter whose rod and arsenal of arts enables him to dispatch foes at any distance all right so he's our ranged character on the team let's go back to kisara she's more of a defense she fights with like a huge shield um but she also does physical attacks she fights with swords uh in the little video description at the bottom there um little video preview i should say she's fighting with what i believe to be a mallet sort of like a heavy swinging object along with her shield she definitely is a knight all right, so we're going to go back to Law. As I mentioned before, Law is a physical fighting character, fights with his fists and his feats. All right, Rinwell is the mage 
of the squad. She is pure magic. She casts out of the book there that she has in her hand. And she is pure, pure mage. Strictly magic, guys. We got Shion. She's your more long-ranged attack character. She's kind of like Rinwell. But she fights with a sniper pistol. And she does a lot of arts. And she kind of like... She reminds me of Mila Maxwell from Exilia and Exilia 2. She mixes you up in arts. And she, and she covers a wide range of on the battlefield so she's gonna be fun to play with so we're gonna jump back to alfin y'all know i'm going with the main protagonist of the game man a swift sword fighter with an array of arts to combat any type of foe in close quarters combat man let's get it man we're going with alfin y'all already know he looks awesome as shit he looks he definitely reminds me of ludger from exilia and Ex exilia 2 i should say so let me shut the hell up the demo begins the graphics already looks amazing. Next level, next gen PS5. Let's go. Well, off we go. Ooh, ooh, look at the graphics. Yo, I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to lie. I did not want to play this demo. I wanted to leave every bit of surprise for this game on day one when it launched. But your boy couldn't resist. I'm such a huge Tales fan look at the graphics of this game this is not even a full version y'all this is just the demo oh my god where am i going not this way i guess not this way all right alfin my bad my bad let's go let's get it okay so if you push down on the left analog you got your sprint button oh my god guys look at this view We're oh my so god up. yo oh my god i cannot wait for this game oh my god Y'all hear my squeaky voice. This is excitement, man. Okay, we got some enemies right here. I'm, I'm like dying to jump into combat. Hmm. Okay, so Shion just magically appears. All right, so we see dialogue here, but we don't hear voiceovers for the game, right? I don't know if this is because it's a demo version, but hopefully in the full game, as we see narr narrations um being at the bottom of the screen we'll also hear the characters say the actual words so zugelis have infested even tranquil places like this huh that's a damn shame <sighs> what do you expect tamed i'm trying to figure out whether i should annoy you guys and read every word or just <laughs> read to myself and just anyways what do you expect tamed or stray wherever the renans are lurking zoogles are sure to follow It'd be a surprise if there somewhat weren't any Zoogles in these parts. That's great. I know that. It just threw me for a loop a little, is all. Listen, Zoogles are deployed depending on the environments they're best suited for. When we visit an area for the first time, we'll have no idea what they're capable of. So think carefully how to put the Blazing Sword to use. Right, so Alfin fights with a Blazing Sword. He's actually the only person that can wield it and actually does not take physical damage from the blade. Shion is the carrier of the blade if i'm not mistaken he actually pulls the blade out of her i know it kind of sounds funny guys but get your mind out the gutter um so yeah she's the one that cannot um um she 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 she's the one that carries the blade he pulls it out of her he can't get hurt by the blade and um yeah we're gonna learn a lot more about these characters in the full game but let's go ahead and continue the demo right let's get moving all right so woo! so we got the battle menu guys so before we continue oh there we go combat screen explanation i was gonna break the explanation for you guys but the screen is definitely giving us that all right so let's see man so square x and triangle are our arts allies a ally hps are the green bar cure points are cp points all right and the combo hitter mark all right which tells you the amount of hits you can do in a combo is in the upper right corner forget all this man we could, let's just jump right into the action man let's do it all right so basic arts press r1 to perform a normal art at first you can string up to three normal arts together but by learning certain skills this limit can be increased characters can also attack in mid-air after jumping all right arts are special actions performed by spending part of your ace g gauge that's the arts gauge press triangle square or x to use the arts assigned to each button while ag will gradually restore automatically it will restore more slowly when attacking push left analog and press r2 to evade an enemy attack if you time it well 
as an enemy is attacking and approaching, you'll perform a perfect evasion, allowing you to avoid taking any damage. So guys, yeah, this is one of the new mechanics that was added to Tales of Arise battle system, is a perfect evasion, also known as a perfect dodge. As this paragraph mentions, um, if you dodge just at the right time as you're about to be attacked by an enemy, you do a perfect dodge. So let's go ahead and give all of this a try. Let's go. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, we're ready. Oh my god, this game is moving so gorgeous. Alright, so let me see. How do I how do I roll? Alright, so if you hit L2, I'm noticing that. Hold on, let me just get into the battling. The battling right now, guys. Hold on. Okay, Ryzen Wyvern, definitely a Tales of signature move. Oh, Demon Fang is definitely a Tales of signature move. Like certain arts you'll see in every Tales game. This game is so gorgeous, so pretty. Alright, so getting used to the combat is just practice. Practice makes perfect when it comes to playing Tales games. You can string together combos alongside arts, you know, and that was my first battle, you know, kind of trash, but let's continue. This world just looks amazing. Alfin's Perk, Flame and Edge Part 1. Alfin can sacrifice HP to use a Flame and Edge, a strong, wide, Reaching Blazing Sword attack. To do so, hold Triangle Square X, which will trigger a Flaming Edge after he performs the corresponding art. Flaming Edge moves cost no AG to use. Okay, Flaming Edge moves have the added bonus of dealing extra damage to down enemies. Plus, after learning a certain skill, you can continue to hold the button longer, letting you exchange more of Alvin's HP for power. Okay, so it's sort of like a sacrificing thing going on here. You could sacrifice HP to get more strength for Alvin during battle. That's pretty cool. It was a close thing. Okay, I like the results little menu right there on the side. Okay, cooking. Alright, so you definitely can cook at camps now. This was also another, you know, mechanic that was added to the game. You now can set up camp and cook. I, I feel they took this from Final Fantasy XV. Um, Noctis and the gang in 15 could set up camp and actually cook different meals. Uh, Ignis and their party was the cook. So Tales of Arise sort of adapted that cooking um, camping theme from 15. Normally, um, cooking is handled within menus when you play Tales of games, but let's go ahead and continue. Alright, so depending on who in the party cooks a meal, the extent of their effects and their duration will vary. As such, it's wise to rotate who's on cooking duty based on your current goals and party's oversize overall status all right that's pretty cool all right so what, what do we have here what do we have we got tomatoes all right in the right side you guys can see the items that you're picking up oh my god this game is so pretty and this is the demo version i cannot wait until the full version is released all right so i don't know where i'm going i'm just i'm just amazed at this beautiful land right now i think it's about to turn me around Not yeah it is way i guess can we just look at this view again one more time? Jesus, look at this view. Look at the graphics. Let's see if we can get a close-up of Alfin's face. Hey, my son look crazy. He got like that cracked helmet on his on his face, covering one eye. My boy fire, bro. Like the sword on his back. Let's go. Let's get it. Hold on. How do we pull up the menu? Okay, so we got the menu here. All right, so we got items. We got arts. Let's look at the items. Okay, they gave us quite a few items. Okay, so we got some ingredients to cook. And I'm just trying to cover majority of what the demo has to offer. I'm, I just want to give you guys a peek of the menus and all that the demo has to offer, you know? So, um... 
let's go across top we got uh new items collected we got consumables consumables are definitely items you can use in battle to heal get status buffs and all that good stuff so gels are definitely like if you were playing final fantasy um you know potions would be for health so in tales of games gels are for life life bottle is to revive a fallen character as phoenix downs in final fantasy would be um there are different levels of life so the lemon gel gives you 2000 hp pineapple gel um let's see what is a valuable medicine medicinal gel that makes a person feel full of vitality when eaten restores 60 cp if i'm not mistaken cp is magic power maybe in 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 tales of arise but we'll find out um so treat is kind of like a smaller consumable for health it only gives you a thousand hp orange gel is about 30 percent cp so that's the smaller version of the pineapple gel and once again cp i think is for your magical powers to replenish that moving on we got materials all right, so materials you could actually craft uh, things. I, I believe weapons and equipment out of materials you find in the world of Tales of Arise. All right, we got weapons. All right, so we got one weapon for each of the six characters on the squad. We got sword. Uh, Law is gauntlet. Uh, pole shaft. Um, I th I want to say this is the character that used the staff. Obviously, the book is for the um, magician type character. The shield is for Kasada. And Noble Rose is for uh, Shion, the gun-wielding character. Okay, so what else? We got armor, we got accessories, we got accessory materials, valuables, and we got other, right? So other are usually like recipes and stuff like that that you can make. All right, so that's the menu. I'm kind of surprised in the demo they don't show like the actual character stand-in, but that's pretty cool. It's, it's, it's a demo, right? So the full game, I hope that's going to be different. All right, so moving across the bottom here you got items okay you got arts so arts are like special abilities you can use during battle all right and i'm just giving this very detailed explanation because like i said i'm trying to give you guys the full breakdown of what the demo has to offer menu inside and out and for all you new guys that are new to the tales of series you know i want to give you guys just an in-depth explanation before you guys get into this this world of tales so art screen press l2 r2 to inspect the arts all right so like the game showed us in battle these are arts that characters can perform by the press of a button um so triangle here is rising wyvern square is swallow blade x demon fang etc you could sort of like move around whichever art you want all right so for example swallow blade is now square i can make it for example um rising wyvern right so let's put that back to swallow blade you don't want to have the same ability for each button you want to have different abilities for each button slot right so this is ground attack and this is aerial attack so i like the fact that they actually did this this is something new right so ground attack um and aerial attack are now two different um categories so you can actually set two different abilities for when you're in on the ground or if you're in the air. So if you guys see ground attack, rise and wyvern is selected. Aerial attack is mirage, which is pretty cool. This is the first Tales game I've ever seen to actually split ground and aerial attack up like this. Um, and I've played tons of Tales of games, right? Big fan right here. <laughs> so moving on, guys. Um that's just Alfin for you you got shion she's more of like a healer magic type okay you got rinwell she's full magic like i said law physical fighter right and if you guys notice that Alfin's menu is is different from all the others it's because Alfin is the main character that is selected that's the character i'm using so he it's not that he's the protagonist it's whichever character you're using at the time their menu is going to look like this and everyone else is who's assisting you in battle will look like a standard list of uh of words so that's pretty cool let's go back all right we got equipments all right so you know every standard rpg jrpg you know you could equip with different weapons and different armor and and accessories bangles you know you know what it is man if you guys are rpg fans out there you know exactly what i'm talking about but for the people who don't normally play rpgs yeah you got weapons all right you got armor you could equip accessories i don't have any yet and you know same for everyone else right so that's the equipment you got skill panel all right so here we go 
Skill panel. So summary, you can change which characters will fight in combat, as well as who you wish to control their position determines what to press to trigger their boost attacks. Press L1 or R1 during combat to change who you control. So during battle, I have Alfin right now as my playable character. I don't have to stick with Alfin. The greatest thing that I think about Tales game is just the, you know, the switching of characters during battle. You can switch to different characters while you're fighting, which is pretty cool. You can switch up, you know, your fighting style, your play style, and it doesn't limit you to just one character. You can play with basically everyone on your team, which I find pretty awesome, right? So, okay, change your character's battle control. Yeah, so semi-auto is basically, you can do the arts, but I think your characters are going to be, or the character you're using is going to be mobile on their own. So it's semi, like like the base control states, it's semi-auto, meaning like, um, you know, you can either have manual where you're fully controlling the character or semi-auto where you're partially controlling the character or full auto where you, you're not doing anything. The character's fighting on their own. So that's pretty cool. Standard entails. All right. You can um, change, you know, your character. You can swap in characters. Like, for example, let's do that. So I've swapped out, I believe her name is Rinwell for this guy here. But let's go ahead and put Rinwell back in. And it's cool, you know, that we have all six characters in the demo. That's pretty awesome. They gave you the entire team to play with, which is crazy. Uh, I don't know what these two blank slots are, but to my knowledge, there are only six characters you play with in this game in Tales of Arise. So maybe you'll get like two other characters. I don't know, but we'll definitely find out once the full game drops. So let's go ahead and continue. All right, so we did skill panel strategy basically is when you're on a battlefield strategy you can either um set each character to let's go ahead and fast forward here all right so these are the different options so fight in moderation use healing support arts basically you're telling what you're telling each member of your team what actions they should do right so you could tell a, a certain character to not use any items you could tell another character to focus on healing fight aggressively Okay, you could tell another character to conserve CP, which once again, I think CP stands for magic power. Uh, for characters who cast magical arts spells, CP definitely um, refers to those characters strongly. Um, so don't spend CP, go all out against bosses. So if you come up on a boss fight, uh, you could tell a character to go ham on that on that boss. So, And you could tell a character to heal only, to sort of stay in the back of the uh, background while fights are occurring and they could heal only. And you could tell a character to just simply stand there and don't do anything, right? So you could set this, you know, to, you know, these slots here. So that's strategy, um, outfits. For some reason, I can't press outfits, but this, the name is self-explanatory, I hope. Um, in Tales game, Tales are Tales games are very big on dressing your character up in different, you know, outfits glasses accessories just to make the game fun i'm pretty sure that this game will have tons of dlcs where you're able to purchase different outfits on the playstation store and all that good stuff can't wait to see what outfits they're putting in the game i'm really excited about that you know instead of staying in your standard outfits that the game provides you you could switch up your wardrobe and look you know flashy <laughs> however you guys decide to look so that's outfits can't click on it for some reason but okay so feel guide Let's see what field guide is. Help. All right. So field guide is basically your, I want to say your Bible of just everything in the game. And it tells you explanations. It gives you pictures of what's what, you know, and you can go through that at your own leisure once you get the game. But just to give you guys an idea of it's a directory of everything about ta Tales of Arise. And it's it's in every Tales game. All right, so we got systems, self-explanatory. You could, like we've seen in the beginning, we can set our settings to however we prefer to. So that's settings, and that's pretty much everything that the demo has to offer um, as far as us taking a deep dive into each of these uh, options here. So let's continue with the gameplay, and let's get accustomed to the, uh, the battle. The battle mechanics, I should say. Apple gel. So we found an apple gel. Should that's really be here? That's for health. I feel like I've been talking a lot, guys. I'm sorry about that, you know, but I just want to, like I said, give the newcomers 
uh, in-depth explanation of everything. So I'm going to shut up a little bit and get into these fights. All right, let's see here. Um, okay, so if you push the touchpad during battle, right? Let's switch up my arts, all right? Let's see. Wait, first off, let's jump in the air and do some of these arts. Okay. All right, boost strikes. Boost strikes are one hit. Kill attacks performed in tandem with other allies. When you see the word strike on the enemy, press okay any direction with D-pad to use one immediately. Boost strike occur more frequently with lower enemy HP and higher combo counters. Hey, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Yo, I'm telling y'all, man. Tails games have the best battle mechanics hands down. Hands down, man. Like, fights are so epic in these Tails games. If you guys have not been playing Tails, get into it, man. Like, one of the best JRPG series out there. Hands down. I like that there's a jump button now. You could actually jump on the field and in battle. That's crazy. First Tales game to implement that. You can also swim in the water. You could also fish, set up tent, cook. They added a lot of new things to Tales of Arise that previous Tales game did not have. Oh, let me see something. Okay, if you press square, square brings up the map. Okay, that's pretty cool. Tesla Trislita Highway. Enter neighboring map okay the map is pretty i'm just pressing around Fishing. buttons here where does your gun come from what do you mean where does it come from when you're fighting it looks like it just appears out of nowhere oh that's transferal technology when i don't need my weapon i submerge it in empty space and when i do i summon it make sense not really but it sounds pretty amazing Huh? Well, that way you don't have to carry around any heavy weapons or worry about enemies trying to steal them, right? It's a pretty cool invention. You realize you're praising the technology of your enemies, right? So? Technology is technology. It's not good or bad in and of itself. I guess that's true. Alright, guys. So what you guys just witnessed was a dialogue scene with Shion and Alfin, Alfin so something to point out usually it's a 2d type of uh if you guys are real tail fans and you've played tales you know that they've switched the dialogue you know uh narrative screens between these characters that was a full 3d screen of characters talking it's usually a 2d screen with more cartoonish animation and they went full 3d in tales of arise Definitely something for me to get used to. I'm used to seeing a 2D screen. Um, and I've done hey, it again. Rima, do you always have to say an incantation before you cast an art? Yeah. They don't really add any extra power or anything. But reciting them is what allows the astral energy to come together and flow through me. It takes time to complete. But they're what lets me use such strong magic in the first place. What happens if someone interrupts you while you're in the middle of chanting? Then I have to start over from the beginning. As soon as my concentration breaks, any astral energy I've accumulated disperses. Got it. So once you start reciting, that's our cue to make sure that no enemies can get near enough to disrupt you. Yeah, that would be appreciated. Although, I do have one fun trick up my sleeve. Once I finish chanting a full incantation, I can hold on to a single astral art without casting it right away. So once the astral energy's in place, you can choose to set it off whenever you want? That's amazing. Yeah, I don't fully have the hang of it just yet, 
but I'm sure it'll come in handy sooner or later. All right, guys, that was the second narration character talking screen I pulled up. I pressed R1, R1 on the DualSense controller, and it bought it up. Let's try it one more time to see if it happens. Okay, so it's not happening anymore. All right, so yeah, that was pretty weird. Usually those scenes happen automatically as you progress through the game, but it looks like, well, one, I'm going back to the same place. Let's <laughs> let's travel onwards. Yeah, but um, I was saying that those screens usually happens when you progress through the story. Kind of weird that it allowed me to press R1 and had those two, you know, scenes pop up like that. So that's pretty weird. Game is so beautiful, so beautiful. Hmm? What? Right. Hmm. Anyway. <sighs> Got it. This game is so pretty, guys. My game of the year, 2021, hands down. Alright, so this gentleman here, he's warning us on, of guys. the Zoogles. Alright, so the battle transitioning is pretty smooth. Hey, okay. That's how we dodge? Okay. Alright, so L2 is how you dodge. Alright, so if you hold L2 and hit directional button, you could call in your companion to do a quick attack. And they jump back out. Okay. Yo, the battling is so much evolved in this game. The battling has evolved tremendously from Tales of Berseria. This which was be a good place to fight. Wow, Kisara, it's so big. You're you're talking about my shield, right? Hey, yo. <laughs> I told y'all, yo, she got a big butt, man. I'm just going to say it. She got a huge butt. It's funny how, you know, the creators of the game threw that little dialogue in there cuz they know they know what they're doing when they create these characters, man. Oh, we got a golem? You want smoke? Alright, but how do I switch my cursor to different enemies? How do I switch my cursor? Here we go. Okay. So this is how I switch between enemies. If you're on PlayStation, it's R1 and left or right on the D-pad. Where's that big guy? I want him. I could tell the air combo and the aerial combat is going to be crazy in this game. Alright, so I'm about to die, yo. How do I... Let's see. Items? This is when you use them gels, man. You gotta heal your life, you know? Let's give that to my boy Alfin. I like the rolling and the dodging in this game. It's so smooth. Oh, he got me. He got me. Now, 
Let's go. Let's go. Oh my god, this game is so much evolved, yo. We are here, baby. Next gen, PS5, Tales of Arise. Let's get it, yo. Alright, I'm here playing around. Let me continue the story. What a rush. I'm playing around. I'm, I'm having too much fun, guys. Too, too much fun. Very tempted to. I wonder what we'll find out there this time. Most to likely fight. Zingles, I would reckon. I mean, other than them. Okay, so this is one of those. Ooh, okay. Okay, so. If... Tell it's tough just looking at it. All right, so yeah. it... here's here's the thing, guys. Good. Here's the thing. This creature here is one of the ancient fiends that you can fight in every tales. You actually get an award for defeating one of them. They're scattered all throughout the world. Alright? Even the battle music changes when you fight them. They're not like regular enemies. You guys have seen me fight regular enemies since I've started the demo. But this guy here, he's different. They're a lot harder to beat. Um, takes a lot more focus and comboing and all that stuff. But it's definitely a challenge. That's why he's glowing like that with all that energy. They're different kind of animals. Not animals, but fiends to fight. But... We'll get back to that. Let's just progress through the demo story and we should be good. What's this? Okay. I heard you could actually... Did I just milk this cow? I did. You could farm animals. This guy is a mixture of a bunny rabbit and a pig. Okay. Okay. I've seen plenty of articles on Twitter that actually talked about these weird mixtures of animals. Alright, I think they're referring to the large Zugal. In this case, that's what they call the wild Roman uh, fiends in the area, in the world of Tales of Arise. They call them Zugal. So, the large one I just showed you guys that I was describing, I think this is what Drashen here, uh, this is what Drashen is talking about. I guess. Alright, so Alfin wants to take care of these Zoogles. Shion looks like she's not interested. <sighs> oh my god, the graphics are definitely top tier next level next gen graphics. Look at Shion's face. Oh my goodness. Game of the year 2021. I don't care what nobody say. Let's go. That's unfortunate. All right, so now it's night time. Guys, I cannot wait for this game to come out. I swear to God, I'm taking okay, my sweet time with go. this game. Defeat the giant Zoogle in Title Plane. All right, so how am I... So okay, the navigation... Okay, so square. Title Plane, we want to head over here. All right, so we got to go back. We definitely have to go back. All right, so we can't go forward. All right, so if you press L2, it'll bring up your character's stats, HP currently. I'm so tempted to just go into people's houses and start talking to people. But for the sake of the demo, guys, I'm just going to play through the storyline for you guys. So, you know, those of you who are not able to play the demo, you guys can see through my actions you know, what the demo has to give and offer. Hold on, let's see. Title planes, right? 
I'm looking for like a part of the menu that tells you or shows you what the current Last objective is. You haven't left all of your lordliness in the past. That's so dope. You guys, I don't know if you realize the characters talking in the bottom right, you know, um, bottom left side of the screen. All Tales games is like that. As you're traveling through the adventure, you're going to see a lot of like um, narrations between the team, which is pretty cool. Bro, you can jump in Tails now? Yo, may not seem like a lot to most people, but Tails fans, y'all know this is something big. Alright, hold on, let me see. Square. Okay, I think we went too far. We're supposed to be here, right? How do I... Can I... Like... Okay, we went too far. Let's go back. I'm telling you, it was that big monster that, that I was showing you guys explaining. See, these are the smaller versions of, it, of, of that monster. But let's go ahead and find him. Okay, we got some pepper over here. Oh! Tidal plane. Alright, so this is where we're headed. Something feels odd here. Okay, Be see? This is another one of those monsters. All we have to do is get rid of that thing, right? Damn right. Let's go. So this is what you will consider a quest from Drashin, the gentleman back there. Looks like trouble with capital T. Together we got this. Hurricane Mark. All right, so weak points. Some large enemies have orange glowing spirit cores that can be destroyed after taking a set of amount of damage. Doing so will break the core and down them. Depending on the enemy, these weak points can also be directly targeted. All right, so enemies got weak points. Oh, let's go. All right, so you can only dodge when you're on the ground. So normal attack is R1, which is pretty weird. Okay, here we go. Let me see something here. Okay, so I'm holding R1 right now, and I'm moving this flag between characters. Let me see something. Okay, so that's how you switch your playable character. Okay, so if you hold R1, whatever flag, whatever character the flag lands on is the character you're currently going to control. Let's try Law. Be careful not to overdo it. One Yeah, he's definitely up my alley. Physical fighting, let's go. Alright, I need to try another one. I keep doing the same one. Down. Come forward, holy 
Yo, this boy Law is all over the place. Ooh, he killed me. He killed me. Hold on, hold on. We gotta get. We gotta. We gotta bring our boy back. Chill out. Chill out. Chill out, yo. Hold on, hold on. All right, so you can't use an item right away, so you have to give it a sec. I think there's a cooldown. Now I think we can use it. Yep. So every time you use an item, there's like a short cooldown before you can use a second item. Let's give my boy some more health. All right, but let's go back to let's try uh, Rinwell. So she's more of like a stay away attack with magic. Hey, let's go. Oh, let's go. Oh, oh, he came at me. Hard body, bro. Oh, God. Okay. Do I have another life potion? I do. Yo, why is he attacking me like that, though, bro? Alright, let's go. Alright, so Rinwell is not working out for me right now. Let's go ahead and revive her. Clearly, the AI knows how to use her better than I do. I like how he's just coming after me, though. Let's try Shion. Can you guys tell I'm not used to playing with projectile characters? I'm more of a physical fighting character, user. <laughs> like, whenever I, whenever I play a Tales game, I usually fight with the characters that use their hands, their feet, or even a sword. Like, characters that shoot things, I'm not really accustomed to using, but I guess in Tales of Arise, I have to, like, broaden my horizon and try everybody on the team. Your man is like killing me right now. I hope this medicine works as promised. Oh wait, is Alfin dead? Oh hell no. Hold on. How do you got the main man dead? Oh, Law is dead too. My boys is bodied. Let me stop playing around, y'all. Nah, hold on, yo. Hold on. Why are you treating my sons like that right now? Hold on, hold on. Get up, get up, Law. Y'all see that briefcase in the middle of the screen on the bottom? When that disappears, I could start to use items again. Just to point that out. Alright, get up Rinwell. Alright, we're gonna switch back to Alfin. Alright, this is one... You gotta multitask when you play Tails, man. You can't just fight. You gotta heal your characters. And offense, defense, both matters equally. Now we got this, man. We got this. Alright, so one thing to point out guys, if you see the characters diamonds at the at the bottom left, the characters uh, faces, as you guys can see, they're glowing. So that basically I'm assuming signifies if I can either do their combo specials together once it's filled, or either switch 
characters, right? So I'm not sure. We gotta play more of the battle uh, battle mechanics to find out. Okay, yeah, that's that's what it is. Okay, yeah, you called him in for a short attack. Hey, I love the battle mechanics, bro. Hold on, let me take a look at my character's lives. Yo, we get pummeled, but we almost got him, man. We're about to win this fight right now. Oh, I got no more health. Okay, hold on. Shion is dead. Life bottle, let's bring her back. He's pretty much dead. The enemy is dead. Look at his life. There you go. I keep doing the same tag team special. I don't know why I keep doing that. Clearly, there's, there's other members on the team I could choose, but I always hit the up on the D-pad. I guess it's habit, but we got the job done, baby. Let's go. <laughs> hey. <sighs> what? Sure. Uh. Yes. <sighs> what? <laughs> Shion is like, I just need a warm bed and some food right now. What? All right, guys, that concludes the demo. Before. That concludes the demo. We got a little short scene I'm here. Renan, you're Danon. There's no way. What could a Danon like you possibly gain from helping a Renan like me? You really can't feel pain? It's just another thing I don't have. I don't remember anything about my past. A man numb to pain. And a woman whose very touch deals nothing but. You're wrong. You think this curse is some kind of great ability? Ball's in your court, soldier. What do you say? I want to fight. To live and taste freedom! Let hey, us let's go. This game is going to be so epic! It's only over when you give up. You can trust me, you know? Even lean on me. Until the day I died, I knew I would be alone. Now? Yo, let's go. I wouldn't have to feel this way. All right, guys. I think that concludes the I have demo. Everyone to thank for that, including, especially you, Alfin. Tales of a Rise, baby. September tenth cannot come any sooner. Oh my god, I cannot wait for this game. Oh my god, guys. You guys have no idea how much of a big Tales of fan I am. This game is going to be amazing. That concludes the demo, guys. Thank you guys for tuning in to experience this demo with me. I'm not going to say fully because right now, after this video, I'm about to replay this shit. And instead of going through the story, I'm going to fight fiends and random monsters in the field to get more accustomed to the battle mechanics but thank you guys for tuning in to this demo you know for the short experience tales of arise does drop september 10th 2021 of course and it's on xbox and playstation so if you guys are you know into fire ass rpgs i i highly recommend you get my game of the year yes i said it my game of the year tales of arise get this game y'all y'all will not be unsatisfied amazing story i'm pretty sure um i didn't go into the story that little trailer kind of did but i'm gonna wait until i get the full version to really tell you guys about the story and you know and just to break down a lot more about the game once it drops you know so please please stay tuned and look forward to that today was just a demo this is only a taste 
a small, small taste of what my game of the year has to offer. So with that being said, guys, thank you once again for tuning in with your boy. If you guys are new to the channel, please consider subscribing. Smash that like button for your boy and turn that bell on for post notifications, man. Or when I drop fire ass videos like my boy Alfin Sword right there. You know when I drop them fire ass bangers, bangers, bangers. You guys are updated on when all that occurs. So thank you guys from the bottom of my heart for all the love and support for the channel. I will see you guys on September 10th when Tales of Arise, the full game, drops global let's get it man take care guys